people? It's Yana and I'm back today with yet another video and I'm so excited for today's video because we are gonna be trying authentic Japanese snacks from this insanely adorable pink snack box that I ordered online. Just look how adorable this is. I am a sucker for packaging and when I saw this I had to have it. Excuse my pronunciation if it is terrible but I do think this is called Shogun candy and i'm very excited to try it okay first i have to open the box oh my goodness ah look how cute it looks it is so adorable so it comes with a little card that tells you what all of the different candies are which is actually super helpful and just look at all the snacks inside like there is so much in here i don't even know if we're going to be able to try all of this okay so the very first thing that popped out at me is this little thing right here okay so this is called the makin gummy and i am very excited to try it oh my goodness look at it it's like that little toy when we were little but you would like slap on things and it would stick everywhere. Let me know if you guys remember those. They were super fun to play with. Okay, that smells very strongly of grape, like artificial grape flavoring, which honestly I love. So let's get into this. I'm going to try the star first. Oh my God. That is so good. I thought this would be jello. It's not. It's gelatin. So it's giving like gummy candy vibes and it's very good. It's super like intense in flavor. This is really good. Thumbs up to this one. I'll give this candy like a solid 7 out of 10. It's nothing special, nothing crazy, but it's pretty damn good okay the next item we're gonna try is this salted potato snack on the list it's under the name as stick potato so let's try some stick potato i feel like you can't really go wrong with this i feel like this is gonna be absolutely delicious Who doesn't love a good potato i love potatoes potato anything i will eat okay these are a lot thinner than i thought they would be if you're a canadian you would know these kind of look like hickory sticks i feel like these are literally hickory sticks but without the flavor Oh my god, these are literally hickory sticks. Delicious, bomb. I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10, but like, still gotta give like all the other items in the box a chance. I just feel like this is like the perfect snack. It's like salty, it's potato-y, like you can't go wrong. All right, moving on, moving on. The next thing I wanna try that really caught my eye in the box is this pizza looking thing. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's pizza flavored chips. I remember when I was younger, I used to eat these like pizza flavored pretzel sticks. They were my favorite snack ever. So this has some serious potential. On the list, this is called Texas corn. So let's try some texas corn oh my goodness they're like little ball shaped things okay it smells like oregano it smells like pizza vibes but it doesn't smell too pizza-y which i really appreciate oh my god i really don't have anything else to say other than 10 out of 10 now i am so happy that i didn't give these 10 out of 10 because oh my god is this the best thing I have ever tasted? It gives pizza flavor, but it doesn't give the pizza flavor that you would expect. It's very mild and smooth, and like the corn puffs are beyond. They're just so... All right, we're taking it back to candy once again. This is supposed to be a little fruit jelly, and I'm excited to see what flavor it's gonna be. Guys, I think this is peach, and peach is ugh, the best. This is okay. I feel like if it was cold, it would be better. Honestly, it's kind of gross because it's warm. I give this like a 4 out of 10. If it was cold, it could potentially be like better. I don't know. It's just not really giving. All right, next we are trying these really bizarre little balls. I don't know what this is. It looks very peculiar. I don't know. Okay, on the paper it says you're just supposed to bite them. So... Okay, this is a 0 out of 10. I got hit with like this really weird melon taste. I guess the 
color should have given it away. This is definitely supposed to be like melon flavored. I hate melons in general. I'm not a melon girl. I can't. I can't. This is not for me. Moving on. I'm so excited for this. Next, we're going to be trying this crackle candy. It is called Crackle Panic. And let's see if it's really as crackly as it sounds. This is what it looks like inside. It is definitely very crackly. Ooh. This is definitely the crackliest popping candy I've ever tried. Very good. It tastes like it's like cola flavored. And it also has like little candies inside as well. It's really sweet. 7 out of 10. I really like this. This is probably the best popping candy I've ever had. Like better than Pop Rocks. Better than whatever other things I've tried before. Okay, next thing we're having is this cherry candy right here. All it says on the list is that it's cherry confectionery. So I love cherry flavored anything. It doesn't really smell like anything. This is what they look like. Okay, so it like instantly melted. And again, it's a very mild cherry flavor. I'll give this another 7 out of 10. Like, I would get this. I just wish there was like more. They're so tiny. Oh my god, shut up. And you get a little toothpick to pick them up. This is definitely giving like sugar mochi vibes because let me tell you, it is very very sweet. Guys, I'm gonna have like the biggest sugar rush. I'm feeling a little crazy already. I can't even begin to explain how excited I am for this. This is potato snacks yet again, but look how thick they are. They're literally as thick as fries and they feel so crunchy. And guess what? They're butter flavored. I love butter. I love butter flavor anything. Oh my god, it smells so strongly of butter. I love it. It almost smells like movie theater popcorn, which is the best smell in the world. It's a lot sweeter than I expected it to be. It's super crunchy. It's super delicious. But yeah, it just, I feel like it smells a lot different than it tastes. That's like a five out of 10. I'm kind of sad. I thought it was going to give like salted butter, but it was giving more like sweet butter, which is kind of gross. Okay. Anyway, moving on. There is so much in here, guys. I don't even know if we're going to be able to cover all of this in one video. Okay. Next, we are trying this candy that is called Red Tongue Black Tongue. And it's literally supposed to make your tongue either red or black. I guess depending on which side you lick. Oh, this is gum, not candy. This gum is super chewy. It's actually delicious. But is my tongue black and red? I guess it's kind of black and red. It kind of looks like red and a little purple. I thought it would be like a really dark black. That would look super cool. When I tell you we're not even halfway through the box, I am not even joking. But the last thing we're going to try today is this little salted caramel candy. Okay, that looks like it's going to be absolutely delicious. I love salted caramel. Oh, okay. It's hard caramel, not soft. I really like how salty it is. Like, you can really taste the salt. So, you know what? I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It's actually really good. All right, you guys. That is it for today's snack tasting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I definitely have a lot more snacks in this box. And there's also so many different boxes to choose from. So, if you want to see more of these videos, make sure to leave a comment down below. The majority of these snacks were really good. This is still my favorite. Like, this takes the title so delicious so good i could just eat it forever i would say these two are definitely like the two winners today what can i say i'm a savory type of girl i will pick a savory snack over a sweet snack any day i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye